Congratulations to all this evening's honorees. We are all aware of how urgently our industry needs to act to become more sustainable and equitable throughout the entire supply chain. Today we need fashion brands to be more transparent than ever and to exist as part of the solution to global issues rather than the cause. By designing actionables such as the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, the United Nations has given us meaningful guidance when it comes to addressing climate crisis, global poverty, and human rights. These goals, amongst countless other UN initiatives, have been essential in cultivating a more conscious landscape within our industry and beyond. For their tireless efforts in calling us all into action, it is my honor to present tonight's Environmental Sustainability Award to the United Nations. Please welcome Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed. Trevor asked what he was doing here. What am I doing here? United Nations. Good evening, everyone. And on behalf of the United Nations, I'm really honored to receive the CFDA award. It, it's an amazing award and recognition of the thousands of UN folk that go out every day um, and sacrifice their lives and try to pass the messages that all our countries have put together um, to, to see that we make a better world. We value your collaboration in inspiring the global fashion industry to put sustainability at its core. And we are united by our love of fashion, creativity and innovation, but also in solidarity for climate action. As we gather this evening, world leaders are meeting in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt for COP27 to account for the promises that were made in Paris in 2015. Sadly, the target of one, a 1.5 degree world is still on life support. And we need COP27 over the next 10 days to deliver a path that saves our planet. And for that, we need you to help us. I've always believed that clothing is a way to express oneself, celebrate culture, and make a bold statement. And I'm here because we believe that the future of sustainable fashion and its influence on our daily lives can help to green the world. You've made the first bold step, so many of you did today, and I'm just asking you to dig deeper towards real transformation in the industry. Let me take the example of circularity. And what I mean by that is rethinking the way industry uses resources then turn the tide, for instance, on plastic pollution and water efficiency. By designing processes that reuse materials, we can actually eliminate 80% of the plastics that are going into our oceans. On water, it takes more than 7,500 liters to produce a pair of jeans. By gaining efficiency, we can give someone drinking water for 10 years. The global climate crisis that we're facing today is man-made. And let me just underscore man because no woman had anything to do with it. <laughs> yes, women. We didn't have anything to do with it, but we can lead it. <laughs> the fashion industry's share of emissions that cause climate change is 10%. And for context, that is more than aviation and shipping put together. The good news is that we do have the solutions and the resources that will shift the industry without compromising the creativity that makes you all so inspiring. Everything I shared is part of our sustainable development goals. We need your engagement and leadership to ensure that these 17 global goals reach everyone everywhere. And we need an integrated shift to include more young people and influencers like yourselves in this room. We offer many UN platforms that the One for Conscious Fashion and Lifestyle Network is a collaborative and a transparent platform for industry leaders. And by highlighting our innovative products, such as organic dyes, our carbon neutral fibers, and packaging made from ocean plastics, we're co-creating a new sustainable ecosystem and accountable mechanism. From the incredible voices that I've heard tonight, I know that we have the collective knowledge the means and the creativity to make a difference in our world. 
So together, let us try to shape that better future for people and for planet. Thank you.